So, where are we now? Um, I haven't been on for a while, have I? But I have got something to share with you today. I've, I've been really, really, really busy. So busy. I've been making, writing books and, and I've got two books that I've been waiting for. We had a, a postal strike here in the UK and I had to wait an extra ye week for them to come. But they've arrived in the mail. So I'm going to open this and show you what, what happened and how and, and what's, what's so exciting for me, really, and uh, how the, my books have come. So here we go. There are two books. It's, it's now a set of three. Three books. This one was already written. Lateral Crochet for Beginners. Some of you might have that book already, which is absolutely brilliant if you have. And uh, these are the other two. This one, book two, this is book, we've done book one, this is book two. And this one is a remake of this book. So you can't get this one anymore. This one, how to make a, a face with two stitches in crochet. Um, this one I, I wrote and I, I just felt it was a little bit thin on the ground. Um, the, there aren't so many pages in it and it's all about making a face. But I've included more projects so if you're if you're a teacher or if you're in schools um, there's some more things that you can do apart from the face. So uh, I'll just show you or I'll mention what there is on the on the list of things that you can do in this in this book okay so the list of contents are at this side and uh, you can do the bridges bracelets headbands make fabric flowers squares and circles pictures and then last of all faces so the the faces book is now within this one so it's an update really of that one and there's more projects in it so uh, i'm happy to release this book it's on on amazon now so that's book two and the third book in this series is much thicker much thicker it's a little bit more expensive because there's so much in it and it's called crochet art for schools and beyond which means it's good for adults as well as your as children i'm particularly keen to get this crochet art into school if you know me i have been doing this for a long time and uh, being a teacher myself i knew in my heart of hearts that this would work in school so i've been in school um it does mention in here minera school who minera primary school and i was in in school in school with the children working with the preform crochet and doing crochet art with them so that's book three rethinking crochet and the reason why I put rethinking crochet is because if you were to pick up a book, any book on the internet and, and you are in a library or in a bookshop, if you were to pick up any book which is about learning how to crochet, what you will find is that there are basic stitches and the basic stitches are quite well known double crochet, treble, half treble, and then you can make these into shell patterns and all different kinds of patterns. And you've even got double, I think it's a triple, a double triple or something like that. So you can make, make each of stitch, stitches a bit taller. So yeah, these are basic stitches, traditional tra basic stitches. They've been around for hundreds of years, but, <laughs> I have decided that there's a different way of doing this and that, that we don't have to make to use those particular stitches. We can begin with flowers. We can make flowers, we can make bracelets and we can learn through what I call my learning bracelets. So that's the plan is to teach crochet to younger people and older ones, but to younger people especially in schools and teach them and show them how you can make pictures and how you can make art using using just a few stitches. In this one, as you can see, the, the title is Two Stitch Crochet Art. 
So in order to do, to learn and make these pictures that you can see here in this book, all you need to be able to do is just two stitches, which um, when I first thought of this and discovered it, it was like a, a sort of wow moment for me. We can do this. We can we can actually make. I think this is one of my first my first faces that I did, and I made the eye first, one of the eyes first, then made the other one to match, and then I thought I'm going to set myself a channel a challenge here. I'll see if I can make the whole face just using these two stitches, chain and slip stitch. So for me, that's what it's about. I have a group of people who then began to to make different pictures using using the two stitches method, which I call the breeches method. So that's in this book about the breeches method. Now this book, there's much more in it. Um, the first part of the book, I'll read you some of the, um, the the projects that you can do. And of course, I do like to start with with making flowers um because it's inventive it's easy and and it's 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 free form and the, you can't make many mistakes with it. It, it the flowers when you make them they don't have to be exact they don't have to be all uniform you know when we see flowers in nature they can be petals can be longer or shorter and and so on so i like to start with flowers the other project that I like to start with is a party headband. I'll read these to you. This is the contents page here. Projects. So there's um, a party headband, flowers, then hair clips. I found that after having made a bracelet or having made a necklace, one of the things that children like to do is just use these little simple hair clips that I use in my hair all the time. I had a few of those in school with me and the children were able to clip the first first attempts at crochet into their hair and they loved it. They, they was making just a chain and clipping it into their hair and then they were making a flower and clipping that into hair, putting them two together and putting that into their hair. So I, I found that uh, this was a great way to get started. And so we've got hair clips in here. We've got rainbow headband. So making using the bridges method you can make a hairband you've got party masks that was an interesting project that i did using a part for, for a mask i think it, it all came out of, in the first things i think i did a i did an instagram um reel i did a reel <laughs> and the instagram reel uh was was uh, using these masks as an idea because of course we're all wearing masks during lockdown as people are still wearing masks as well but the idea was sort of skit on this so we can uh, we can use masks as, as a fun thing and I, I think it would be great for, for really little children because wearing a mask it, it can sometimes be a bit daunting seeing people wearing masks but this idea is that it's fun to do you can make a mask so um so in my book how to make a mask and you just simply start with something very simple like this using the chain and, uh, chain and slip stitch just the bridges method and it tells you how to do that and then uh, what have we got here some different masks we've got animal masks a pig cat and and um, a chick there and then you can do all sorts of any of the learning bracelet stitches that you've done you can just add them to the outside of your mask or make it mask as big as you want. So that's a fun project to do. Then there was making a bowl or an eye. And of course it's very similar principle, isn't it? To make an eye and then if this starts to curl up, it, becomes, it can become a bowl. Intentionally or unintentionally it becomes a bowl and then you can do all these different sort of 3D shapes as well. So. That's another project in the book. Let's have a look at the beginning here. We've got a purse, which is a, uh, once you can do a bowl and make it longer and it becomes like cylindri cylindrical in, in shape, then you can do a, a purse by making it narrow at the top and threading, your, uh, threading a chain through, to pulling it together to make a purse. So there's crochet coral 
bun fish and doll's clothes. So I think for all those, it's, there's a lot in there. Um, this project coming together has been a long one. I, I started this five years ago thinking we can rethink crochet. We can teach it in a different way. We can learn it in a different way. So um, my chapter two here is more interesting, I think, for, for adults here, my, my crochet art journey. And uh, there's quite a few pages there at the back showing you where I came from. And at one point, I was making um, animals with crochet. And it's just telling you, I think really, I want to show that, you know, I'm, I am an experienced crochet. I do know what I'm talking about. And it's come together very well from, from, from my point of view. Um, I am in school. I have taught older ones. I've taught younger ones. I've taught ladies. So um, I think the mission was really to get this crochet art going in school, to give children, I mean, let's face it, they're all on their iPads. They're not being as creative as we used to be, I'm sure. And in, certainly in schools, the, the art curriculum is sometimes one of the last things on the menu. It's more to do with learning the three R's and, and learning to read, write and add up. So it, it's, it's a nice, easy activity to do in school because there's not a lot, it's not expensive. It just needs some yarn. If you haven't got any of your own yarn, you can get grandmas to give you their yarns and make a collection in school. It's not expensive. And then of course, using a latch hook, the way we do it, um, I do it is, is a simpler way than using a tr the traditional hook. But if a lot of these projects, you can actually use a traditional hook to do them. So if that's your preference, uh, this, you don't have to do it with, a, with a, a latch hook. So that's my three books and Dead Chuffed. The, the, the two of them say one of them was already on, in, on the internet for sale on Amazon. Now you can get any one of these. The book that you can't get any longer is this one, Faces Book, because it's now inside book two. And all the things on and here I've just made an up uh, an, an updated edition of this book. So there you go. Um, what can I say? I I usually do a little bit of a demo whilst I've been waiting for my books to come. I um I've just been playing really, and I, and so I thought I'll show you what I've been doing. I started off with this this eye, and. Uh, the fun thing about this whole project is that you you can sometimes start a project and you don't know where it's going to go. It's it's quite fun to do in that respect. So I have no idea where this is going, but I started with an eye and I like the idea of going round and round and then bringing this over so we've got some sort of nose in the middle. I'm not quite sure whether I'm going to make this animal like. It would be, I think it would make quite a nice lion or a, a wolf because it's got these sort of quite, quite daunting eyes as quite animal-like eyes. And then I've done another another eye similar to go on the other side. So you pop, put these together like that. And that's the start of a face. It's gonna be quite big. I did another one. Um, I've had got that many whips work, work in progress on, on the go. So uh, yeah, that's that. We'll see how that goes. And um, so what would I, what what's where am I at now? I, I I'd love to ask people who watch my videos where I can go next. I've got my three books. I know that I'm going to promote them to go in school and hopefully get children doing all this. I, I do dream about one day having a wall of flowers that children have made. I know in the past we've had walls of flowers that adults have done and, and maybe a few contribution from children, but I'd like to see school children actually making a making a contribution, a, a, a wall of all their work. And that's my dream, I'd love that. Um, so that's one thing, but where to go from here? I, th I think I'm gonna try and make more videos here on YouTube. I'm getting more used to them now. I hope you can hear okay. And I've, I've got one of these ring lights to, to try and improve the, uh, the uh, lighting on my video so we'll see what, how that goes I don't know whether I'm, I don't know whether I need it or not but um, 
But the other thing I wanted to, to ask people was to comment because I do get likes and one or two people comment. But feedback would be absolutely brilliant because I'd like to see maybe what you're doing, um, whether you would like to see something different in my videos. Uh, I do, I have in the past, I've gone around my garden here, showing you around the place where I live and uh, we have a glamping site here, so I've taken you around the glamping site. But um, what would you like to see in, in, in my videos? That would, that would be good to to get some feedback in that in that way and um and tell me what you think about the books if you do if you have them i don't know how many people have bought them uh they're not selling them fantastically on the internet but i managed to sell some into schools locally and i've got my own supply if you're in the uk you can ask me dm me uh, i mean direct message me i think that's call me and let me know and, and i can send you a copy in the post so that would be one one way of getting your getting your books if you want them. Um, there's, you know, you might be thinking, well, why would you want a book like this? Um, they are designed for schools, all three of them as textbooks. Uh, they're the best I could do. Um, but there's, the, as my friend said, what's you know the cover says what's on the, on the tin, you know, what's in the tin. So that's. That's a compliment, I must say. But um, maybe if you anybody who works in a school, if you know a teacher, or if you uh, if you want to do this with your own child, you can you can learn how to crochet at the same time, make crochet art with you with your own child or with your grandchild. It's a great activity for grandkids, uh, for uh, grandkids and and uh, grandmas to do as well. Um, and also Christmas is coming up so maybe you might think of it as a gift, a stocking filler or um, I, I do like to focus on parties because I mean that there's, in one of the books there's, we do party headbands which is just three fancy yarns crochet together and make a chain out of them and put them around your head and uh, that's a great way to learn how to do a chain and, and to get started and, and fun of course if it's a party headband. So, um, yeah, I put party headbands in, cream, um, in Christmas crackers instead of those paper things that you get in there. You can make party headbands, put those in your, in your and make your uh, ties with your chains at the end. I've done that project before, which is, which is a nice idea. So, um, yeah, if, if your child is going to a party and, you know, you want a small present for the child whose birthday it is, then that's one idea you might get a few of them and put them to one side and when your child goes to a different party maybe you could, you, you have presents there it's always a, a you know what am I going to get the child for a birthday and if you've got a few of these that that would be nicely little stock to have I think um so yeah that's an idea or have a party a children's party where you're doing crocheting and uh uh, instead of having, I don't know, what do they do these days for for parties? But get in touch with me about that one if you want to do that, because I can supply you with the hooks, maybe, or give you some ideas and tips on how to go ahead with a party, a party, a crochet art party for a few children, instead of for a birthday party, of course. So there you go. Um, it looks like we've got one person watching. I hope that person will just say hello. I think somewhere on here there's a chat line and I, I oh yeah here top chat live chat so I, I don't know whether I can live chat or not welcome to live chat that's something I'll have to investigate ah hello Anne <laughs> Oh, it's nice to know that I haven't been sitting here talking to myself for the past few minutes. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how I can say hello back to you, but hi, Anne. Thank you. Do comment, Anne. Let me know what you think of the video. Let me know what you would like to see in future videos. And, um, yeah, if you've got a book, any of, any of the books, let me know. Um, oh, yeah, I, there is... Oh, you're shy. <laughs> I I don't know how to reply to you, Anne. It, there's no, I can't do it. But it's nice. 
it nice it's nice to have somebody to talk to on these videos um yeah what i was going to say was uh, anybody who has my books um one of the things that really helps is if you can leave a review and uh, an honest review i'm fine with a, a, an honest review if you uh, if you have all three books that's three reviews you could give me um and um also a testimonial testimonials are, it's taken me a while to latch on to the idea of having a testimonial but i have a group of um don't worry i'm I, what's the h there on your message <laughs> not to worry um so what was i saying yeah testimonials they, these are really good for advertising what i do um I'm not big into selling. I'm more interested in, in trying to get creativity into the classroom again. And um, yeah, it's, 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 it's a, an activity in the classroom which we can do, which is, is clean and easy. And I know having done it myself, I've, I've been into schools recently and the children just get so absorbed and, and, and they just love doing it. So yeah. Um, I think I'm coming to the end of my video now, Anne. Is there, are there any questions that you might like to ask me, Anne? I know you've said you're shy, so you may not want to put anything down there, but maybe later you can add something or, or even even now when I'm finishing up. So, um, yeah, it's quite a long video for people to watch, but I am going to say goodbye. I, I wish I could... Oh, live chat. All messages are visible. Yeah, that's fine. Hi to all chat. No some chat oh here we go don't worry i'm here i bet that's what that says so yeah um i'm gonna say goodbye <laughs> unless you've got a question for me and i'm gonna say goodbye i keep saying this but um coming live on, on on the internet is fairly daunting sometimes especially if you're on your own um, and you're just chatting to yourself but today has been such uh, it's been such a, an exciting sort of time for me getting my books and I just thought I'm gonna have to go live I'm gonna have to go on the internet and and just uh, mention of mention my books and say and um, I mean I don't know where we're gonna go next with all this but we'll see so uh, bye Anne <laughs> and anybody else who would like to chat to me or leave any messages for me i will get back to you and answer any questions that you might have so um at the end of this video i always say click on this oh yeah there's a bell that you can click on now that will notify you if i put another video up and also subscribe and um, hopefully yeah this video has turned out okay and i'll be able to leave it on for other people to watch so um bye for now press subscribe that would be great comment that would be wonderful okay bye for now <laughs> the fun bit, fun time is getting off this now i i usually don't know what i'm doing i usually